What's your name? I would like your name. I'm Becky. Becky, I'm going to rename you. Is that okay? Yes. All right, though you're very low, Becky. We started Becky. about, we had a poem about identity. We had a poem with the same identity. Okay. What did we say? Which poem and identity? Yes, Becky. Which yes, poem Chuck, and, can you hear me? Yes, which poem and identity did we look at? Which poem and identity did we look at? Okay, Becky, as you remember. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. By who? Oh, you're in trouble. By who? I can't remember that. Oh, I have forgotten, teacher. You are in trouble because you need it. You remember, you check through your notes I gave you, and then you tell us yeah. how we. Let me take a simwe, Daniel. Is a simwe? By Gabriel Okara from Nigeria. By Gabriel Okara from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes, thank you so much. Jebby, what was our subject matter? Jebby. Quickly, who was the speaker? Begin from the speaker. Okay, who was the speaker? Uh, JB has run away. JB, who was the speaker? Okay. William G. Yes, William G. The speaker was a parent. What kind of parent? A father. What kind of father? <laughs> a father who wanted to go back to his old ways. Okay. So we can call him a regretful father. Because by the state of his speech, we can all agree that he is a, a, a regretful father. He's, he's, now, he's now feeling small of what he has become. So we can call him a regretful father. Uh, what was the subject matter? Uh, Grace, Grace, no. Uh, Asimwe, Daniel. Subject matter. Subject matter. Seems people are running away. Fati. I cannot leave until someone has told me the subject matter. What was the subject matter? Chemtai, you're welcome. What, what was the subject matter of once upon a time? Asimwe, Daniel? Yeah, I, I think there are the, the different situations that the, the speaking voice passes through in life. Mm. We say it subject matter is what the poem is about in your own words. So what was this? We looked at every stanza. So what can tell, who can tell me whatever was there from stanza one until the last stanza? That's what I'm interested in. That's what we call subject matter. Who can be able to tell us? Even if you, tell, you don't tell us that in stanza one or in stanza two, 
but you, you simply take us through what that subject matter was. People are quiet here, Rema, Rexy, Ruthie, Salva, Steda, Marina, Zitekino, there is Tekno 1, F1, Pop 2. Well, say something, Rexy, yes, yes, Rexy. I've woken up somewhere. Yes, Rexy. Um, I'm just giving it a try. Please. It was, it was about a, a parent who was trying to find their identity and telling the son that how how sad he was because he had lost his identity and he had learned to wear different faces for different occasions. Yeah, that's what I can remember. But he was regretting and was hoping to to get to gain back his lost identity. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. There's guest there. Thank you. Chirabo. Yes, Chirabo. The poem is about a regretful parent who tells his son how he has changed from the past generation to the present and could like to gain his identity back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are still in senior three, so I have to endure. However, a real candidate, I had forgotten you are can you're not candidates, okay. Let me see what Daniel has, guys. Okay. I thought we had looked at this poem and I had even shared notes. I don't know. Jabi. Jabi. Yes, sir. I, I thought I'd shared notes. I had shared uh, a screenshot of the subject matter. Like, I'm sure, trust me, sir, I can't see those notes. What happened? Why can't you people access the Google Classroom? I'm already accessing it, but I can't see any, any. Okay, any after this lesson, okay, after this lesson, I'll try again with a few students. Then I'll cross check also. Maybe I did not, because I, I remember I had written what the subject matter was. And then the remaining parts of the notes were supposed to go through as an exercise, but I have not seen anyone do that. So sir, I'll, um, I'll... Sir, I've just yeah. seen the notes like right now. You see? Yeah. Okay, so let us, because I'm trying to teach you people the, 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 the unseen poem. In case they set the unseen poem, these are the poems that you master of head. That's why I started with, which poem did we, I started with, the theme we talked about identity, which poem you told, you told me once upon a time. I asked for the, author, the poet, you told me Gabriel Okara from Nigeria. Then I went ahead and asked you, who is speaking, the speaker or the persona? Who is he addressing? Now, those are the exact questions we set for you when we are dealing with poems, the unseen poem. So let us put ourselves together and read to remember. So we all agreed that that poem is about a regretful father who tells his children how he has lost himself to the new selfish ways, people who are uncaring and unloving, people who pretend to care. So they are unreal, they are fake people. But he tells his son, however, this is not the kind of life he wants to live because he has lost himself into something he does not understand. And he tells himself that he would like to regain his identity. He would like to be the old him once more. So he asks his son to teach him to be who he, he was. So I, I definitely expected at least a, a simple narration like that under subject matter, but I guess people did not. Okay, someone is saying posting them is the major problem. After you typing that work and attaching, okay, there's a video we shall keep sharing for you to see. Usually after you at, uh, at, uh, doing everything, there is that part of submit, you know, I expected you to be able to see it. However, let us first do the lesson. The last 10 minutes of five, we shall look at that. 
So today I want to begin by allowing you to be in charge of this lesson. I want you to feel free to ask me any question in literature that disturbs you before I also give you what I know that I've come to teach today. So I want us to ask questions. Last time we had a chance to ask questions. However, I realized people were going off. So can we ask questions in literature under those aspects? You can ask questions under themes. You can ask questions that, are, that you've made under character <clears throat> and characterization. You can ask me any questions uh, around uh, maybe plot. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you. Okay, let's begin with a similar Daniel. A similar Daniel question. So for me, what disturbs me mm. is like uh, at the time when they ask for the subject matter, mm. and then the other question is about the lessons. Should they be so direct? Or you should also give examples and explain them. Where now? Under subject matter or under, under lessons? A same way, don't run away. A same way? Uh, okay, okay. The on the first on the subject matter, mm. should, we, should we explain? Okay, let me try displaying. Let me just wait for a minute. I try to display something. I hope I still have that picture. Yeah. Uh, let me see here my, my screen. I had taken pictures of, um, of, of the. So let me see. This one is for love. Are you seeing that poem? Yeah, no, not yet. Yeah. Now you're seeing it. Yeah, I'm seeing. Yes, so that's how you write subject matter. The rest of you, let us see that. This is what I thought I had shared with you. That's how we write subject matter for the poem of once upon a time. This is how we write subject matter in one paragraph. So here I see poem of identity. The poem Once Upon a Time by Gabriel Okara is about a parent who is most likely a father talking to his son mm -hmm. about the change in behavior which have happened over time. He tells him the difference between the behavior of people of the present and the past. In the comparison, he finds people of the past as true and genuine to themselves and those present, and those in the present as hypocritical. Those are fake who pretend to be what they are not. The father yeah. has allowed, the father has allowed to suit or fit in the present situation or land to be, let me see here. He has learned to behave like them, but on deep, on deep examination, he wants to go back to his old ways because he feels they were better than the present. So that's how you present subject matter. Mm, yeah. I think I've got a Yes. So even yeah. the rest who are this, then the other question was? Ab about the lessons. Okay, that, that one is okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I hope the rest have seen what I've been sharing. I'll give you those notes, I'll share, I'll make uh, another compilation. Now, before I, I leave Asimwe's question, Asimwe, your question is on lessons. Now, yeah. a, lesson, a lesson is an outcome or um, a complete warning. Most of them are in forms of warnings. Are we together? For example, when we say uh, never, is it uh, never let than? Never. Never let than ever, something like that. That's a warning. Are we together? Yes. That it, 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 I don't know. It's not completely like a warning, which is supposed to maybe scare you. But what I mean by warning is that it gives you, it is a result of something. When we say 
it is better to sleep in a ramshackled house when you are having peace than to sleep in a flat when you do not have a peace of mind. Now, that is what we call a complete lesson. You learn a lesson from situations. So you must have seen a situation that propelled you or that made you to, to, to earn a lesson. So in a book, each time you mention a lesson, you try to explain if the lesson comes as a full, uh, when we're going to look at what we call um, essay writing, if it's as an essay most times, you're going to find that if you're writing an essay, you will have to explain that lesson. That after mentioning, for example, that uh, I don't know which book you have done. I assume we have you read Hearts With Us. I'll be using us a same way. No, we only offer things fall apart. Okay, good. Things fall apart is still okay. I will use it. If you look at thing, things fall apart, what is the main lesson things fall apart? That we ought to change with the changing environment. Are we together? Because yeah. Okonko refuses to change, and yet his community, his, his society, his culture has transformed. It has been affected by the white ways. So when he right. fails to change, the change breaks him and eventually finds himself dead. So that is a warning, that is a lesson that we ought to, to change with the changing times. So uh, in case you're to explain that, you will now give reference to Okonko. You say, in the novel things fall apart, our main character Okonko is stiff or is reluctant or resilient to change. And therefore this costs him his, his life. Right. Everyone in, in his community, including his friend of Yerika, is able to see that he, he, change is necessary. Are we together? So you are explaining that lesson. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we handle lessons. However, if you're dealing with extracts, most times those ones you don't explain much. You just mention the lesson and then you give reference, short reference without very long explanations. Mm. Okay, I will go to the next person. That is uh, Adungo, Jeff. Adungo, is your hand up? John S. John S., your hand is up. Please, John S., look for place with good network. And if your hand was not meant to be up, you lower it, then I go to the next person. So, look, look for place with good network. I'm reading the, the book of... When you come back, I'll pick you. Moronji Davis. Sure. Yes. How is a how is a poet different from a persona? The poet is the writer of the poem. Like we have in, in novels, we call them uh the, what, what are they called? The person who writes a novel is what? The author. Are we together? Then yes. the one who writes plays is called playwright. And for poems, we call them poets. So every genre of literature has that division. So the, the, the author, I mean, the poet, if for example, Murunji Davis, have you written a poem before? Yes. If you have written a poem before, I, you, you usually choose someone to speak on your behalf. In that poem, it could be a child, but you're not a child. In that poem, it could be an old woman speaking to her grandchildren. You are not the old woman. 
So the voice the, the the poet chooses to communicate his message is the poet is the what is the persona or the speaking voice. Then for you the the poet you're the writer of that poem. So it is you who chooses who the persona is. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Adungo, Adung, Adungo, yes, I think it's Adungo, yes. Have you got a good network area? So what if I'm reading the book of the grief child? How can yes. this aspect help me? Which aspect? The aspect that we are talking about. No, we are discussing very many aspects. And in literature, we have so many aspects. What I expected you people to ask me today was question approaches. For example, when you're reading, if I give you, for example, have you completed reading Grief Child? I do? Yes. If I told you to discuss the character, if I, in fact, you are doing what I Yes, I have. Uh -huh. If I told you to discuss the character of Adu or Nemo or Apia, would you be able? Yes. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. yeah, those are the things today I'm interested in. Which questions disturb you in literature that you have met? Those are the questions I am willing to answer today. That's why I'm here. So I expected you to ask me a particular question then I try to address it in line with the aspects we have learned. Then it is about themes. Mm -hmm. What exactly about themes disturbs you in literature? Like when they say that they describe the themes that are portrayed in chapter two when the sister of Nemo comes at the home. Okay, is that in chapter two or three? Okay, fine. I don't fine. remember it very well. It is okay. Now, we usually in literature, we do not set to be exact. If it's your classwork, we can say, describe the, the, the characters, I mean, the, the themes that are brought out in this chapter. However, for us, when we are setting a general exam, we do not say in this chapter, we look at in the entire book. So usually what you do for such questions, um, you, you first of all get to know which theme are you talking about? If it's the theme of tradition, so you pick out the theme of tradition and then that is the one you base on, you look out for where the theme of tradition is portrayed throughout that point, are we together? So, but for me, I want to generally look at, if you're given a question, this uh, to, to, to discuss the theme or the major theme in any book. Essay writing requires that your essay must have an introduction. We can have a simple way to introduce themes. For example, one way I can introduce my theme or themes is that in the novel, Grief Child, the author discusses a variety of themes including culture and tradition, because that is my major theme I'm looking at today. Then you say culture and tradition has been discussed throughout the novel uh, through the characters of Adu, Nemo, and then you mention those other characters who are involved. That is the introduction. Then you come to the body. How has that theme been introduced? Tradition is portrayed when maybe Nimo's sister, are we together? Uh, maybe ridicules him for refusing to practice uh, the spiritual medicine. So that's what we are talking about as you go on. So you just hint, you explain, and then you give an example. So those are the simple things I can say. I hope that makes sense. Let me take the next hand, Mike. I think, is, is it Mike? Um, let me take Heavens, then Mike. Heavens. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon to you. 
my question is just about the persona. Okay, like, is there a point in literature poetry where our answer has to be like the first person, second person, and third person? That is more of a level, but it's okay for you to be able to mention it if you are aware of it. Now, first person, second person, and third person are perspectives that, uh, that the poet uses to tell his story. Are we together? Yeah. So, for example, if he says, I, we, us, that is first person, both singular and plural. plural. Where you, the participant, where you, the, 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 the persona is part of the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Then, now, we do not use second person because second person is you. Now, that you is majorly common in, in other writings. At literature, for us, we, we rarely use second person because it is you in singular, you in plural. So majorly we use the second, the first person and the third person, which is she, he, they, them, without you being part of that story. However, in all level, we don't really stress that a lot. Are we together? Yeah, so teacher, if they ask you who is the person speaking in the poem, like for example, in the poem, like I to sing America, do you say, first person or you mention like the person let's say if I, it's a black man being I prefer, you using, I prefer you using character okay yes I prefer you using character because in a level we try to create distinction when someone says who is the speaker then who is the persona we try to create distinction in a level but for all level this is elementary literature we train you to identify the character who is in that in that poem. Okay, thank you, teacher. Let me take Mike. Mike, very fast. Mike, your hand is up unless otherwise. Yes, good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon to you, Mike. Yes, How good are you? Afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I'm fine, man. Good. Your hand is up, so I thought you have a question. Yes, I was asking about the conclusions. Ooh. But how do you conclude without writing In certain a discussion? Mm. Yeah, not after writing, I was just asking about how to conclude. Which question were you concluding? What was the what was the discussion? If the question was that discuss the reasons for Congo's firm. Discuss the reason for Congo's firm. Yeah. Okay. If you're looking, first of all, what is the approach to that question? What did you write? Uh, about what? To write about what? The, the Congo's firm. What was that question that you've just asked? Uh, leave alone before I conclude. What was your approach? My approach in what way? No, how did you answer the question? Yeah, I was just using certain. Okay, let's begin with your introduction. Uh, let's begin with your introduction. What was your introduction? I was just describing Okonko being the protagonist and describing his, some of his characters. Mm, some of his character traits. Yeah. Uh-huh. What were those things that you gave in the body? In the body? Mm. I just gave some few like hardworking. Mm -hmm. Even him participating in certain traditional ceremonies. Okay, if you look at those things, you can categorize them under this. They are individually, he contributes to his fame, yeah. but also there are factors beyond his control, like yeah. faith. Are we together? And other aspects. So when you're making a conclusion, you don't, yeah. it, it's not a must for you to conclude in a certain way, but you can give us a summary of what you have said up there and say that there are so many factors. Oh, in conclusion, there are so many factors that con contribute to Okonko's fame, 
some being him self among Mm. others something very simple okay yes don't be don't restrict yourself be flexible you conclude according to the type of question you have been given all right mike thank you for sharing let me take uh mercy mercy has a chart okay Krisha. okay uh mercy can you come in yes sir i have a question on feelings for example when they ask what feelings does the passage arose in you hmm. yeah so how do we explain like empathy okay let's begin with this do not cram feelings feelings come according to situation if i bought you a gift how would you feel masia is still there yes sir how would you feel i've just given you a gift maybe a phone how would you feel um happy happy then you you've underscored your feelings okay but that is one you're happy maybe you already had a phone but a person who did not have a phone how would that person feel surprised surprised or there would be another degree of happiness elated like extreme happiness so i will begin from there that let then if imagine someone comes and snatches that very phone from you the one you're very excited or happy about how would you feel um i you don't even know how you'll feel eh? yeah that is a lie you because you you will feel sad that's a feeling you'll be hurt and when you're hurt it means you are sad or you will be sad so let feelings be natural that's one thing i can tell you then the other thing is we have both positive what i've been showing you is you have positive feelings and negative feelings once you're able to know that then you know that you need adjectives to describe different feelings just like you need different adjectives to describe different character traits so even here you i will ask you i have a list of uh, nouns i could even share with you i think i will look for them i will share with you a list of adjectives that you can use to describe feelings i think i downloaded it so this these things you must first of all understand the words before you use them so uh, i want you to know that let the feelings be derived after reading the poem but not cramming the feelings that's why most times when you're reading students work you'll find students cramming feelings like uh maybe happy sad even when the poem does not have those feelings so when you talk about sympathy did you say empathy or sympathy empathy yes empathy is putting yourself in that person's shoes and eventually you either do for them something because you know what it feels like for example if someone has ever stolen for you stolen from you maybe your book or something and then you 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 protect that person or sit with that person you relate in feelings so that is what we call empathy when you relate closely with the person's feelings because maybe you have also gone through that so you can say maybe i am empathetic towards her after uh, when she loses her mother then when you're explaining you'll come and say losing a mother is a very painful thing that a person takes long to come out from or that a person needs time to recover from that is so that is what we can say there under empathy are we together yes sir empathy is deeper than sympathy you can sympathize with me on the top but empathy you have an extra mile in terms of feelings there is much more you could do with empathy so don't cram feelings learn to just vary them according to the poem given edward dendo are you in this class at least say something edward dendo 
You can even just put up your hand, even if you don't have what to say, I will understand. Heavens, another question. Oh, yes, Edward is listening. Teacher? Yes? I was just asking, like, in the novel, things fall apart. How do you answer that question? What things fall apart? Oh, what things fall apart. Now, that is, that is like discussing the theme of... Uh, what is the major theme in things fall apart? I think change. Yes, good. If you look at what things fall apart, in short, you're looking at some that happen. The real big... I don't know how to put it back close to that because if you look at let's begin from the basic look at Okonko's life in the beginning and Okonko's life at the end look at the way of people in the beginning the innocent culture before the invasion of the whites and then look at the life after the whites are we together yes so look at some of the things in terms of culture ways of worship in terms of trade you know, if you look at the way now they are doing things of market, so many things eventually fall apart with the coming. So there's a result, there's, there's an outcome, there's a cause for things to fall apart. That's one thing you should always include in that question, that you should be able to include, for example, what has caused the community of uh, Bami to fall apart or the community where Okonko is from, what has made that for community to fall apart? So for me, I look at the major things that have been caused to split, cause to fall apart is disunity more or so. However, that question might not be so rich for you when you're just beginning to answer. However, if you read from chapter to chapter, you can be able to pick a few things that have fallen apart. Okonkwo's home falls apart when he commits. So what was sorry. that? No, oh, before when he even killed someone. When you find yourself saying in literature something, something instead of that, something, <laughs> then you're in trouble. <laughs> that is the greatest trouble in literature when something replaces the actual thing, you are in danger. So we read, you have a very large holiday. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you now? Yeah. Okay. So you look out for those things that integrate. To or disintegrate uh, those things that disintegrate and are no longer because when when you read the beginning part of that book we are told that the anarchy has caused things to loosen the falcon can no longer hear the falconer so they, they, there is no togetherness so what are those things that have caused breakage or what are those things that have been caused to break Mm -hmm. yeah. so those are the small things you can look out for and you discuss in terms of culture, in terms of family, ways of worship. Uh, those are the things for me I could concentrate on. Okay, thank you. Welcome. John S. John S. Okay, if I take a look at the chart. Okay, Murunji, uh, uh, no, Tendo, is, do you want to say something now? Because you have kept your hand? Yes, sir. Good. I was wondering who uh, you were going actually, to. Actually, what are you doing? Uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, so much. Uh, what I wanted to ask was about as as we are um, uh, giving the character traits and characterization, hmm? mm. I was out to the cross. Um, I was out to the cross through what something called monotony. Hello. Oh yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I was actually cross to something called monotony, as mm. for example. If um, this is what I give under the car, under the play, the Merchant of Venice, mm. under Portia, I was like, Portia is, uh, Portia is the, Portia, she is, and I was crossed 
they are mm. giving the reason monotony. How yes. should I approach that? Worry no more. We shall find a solution to that problem. Now, monotony is repetition of either the noun or the subject or the, the, the adjective you're using to describe. So that's what we call monotony, repetition of the same thing, recurrently saying the same thing over and over. When you tell me teacher is, teacher is, teacher is, that is monotony. How do we kill monotony? Monotony is killed. I don't know if you have started, did they introduce to you um, paper two summary writing? Edward. Okay. I'm assuming they introduced to you paper two, summary writing. Under summary writing, you usually use, after introducing the subject in the first line, the second line usually takes a pronoun. For example, they or it, that is the first one. So, but we have different ways to present it. If in the first one, I told you that Edward Tendo likes maize. In the second sentence, I will say, he also likes chicken. The second statement, I will say, he prefers. So in literature, we have one its character traits. You can say, as Porsche is portrayed as in the novel or in the play Merchant of Venice, uh, Porsche is put out as he is presented as. So you can keep varying those ones. We also see him as a blunt hunt, or we also see her as this. So you straight away mention the character traits in such a way. Repetition is when you keep saying that now that we are growing to reach there, we need to learn how to vary our essays. So I don't know, uh, Edward, do you, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, someone had taken the co-host rights. Rexy, you hear us? Edward, do you hear us now?
Edward. Edward. Okay, look for look for a place with good network. You're you're breaking so that you get back yeah, to yeah. us. Okay. I can did hear that, did, you. Okay, did that help? Yes, it did, sir. Okay, so we shall keep getting used to this. Let me take uh, JB's hand is up. Yes, sir. Your hand is up. We had yeah, a simple. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I had a question about themes. Like, what if uh, in the paper they, you are to be asked, like, how do the characters in the story develop or enhance the theme? Okay, we call that character role. It is set as an independent question. We say, for example, if I'm using, uh, if I'm using uh, things fall apart, which novel have you read? JB, which novel have you read? JB, have you read Things Fall Apart? Yes, sir, yes. Okay, if you've read Things Fall Apart, they can ask you what is the character role of, um, of Okonko? But even if they narrowed it down and told you, how does the character of Okonko help in developing the, the themes in, in the book, Things Fall Apart? You look at situations or things that he does that help to propel the, the themes that bring out the themes. For example, let us look at the young man immersed or living in the ways of his people. He's a cultured man. He follows cultural rules and the norms, the way of worship, so you can get to know that, that he's bringing out the theme of culture. Are we together? In terms of themes, of a theme of change, we realize that Okonko resists change, and eventually we realize that Change is necessary when he kills himself because he has failed to adapt. So there is those things that he does that enable you to see themes or the evidence remind you of a certain theme. I don't know if that makes sense. So that's how you can go about it, looking at it in different ways or different angles. And then you're able to bring out different themes that are only brought out clearly by that character in question. That is what I can I can be able to tell you. And I hope that is okay, JB. JB, before I leave you, is that okay? Yeah, it is very okay, sir. All right. I will now go to IVK. IVK. Okay, it seems IVK is off board. If I'm to see some of the things that I can be able to share with us shortly. But there are some things we are looking at today. Um, let me see, today I'd put it here. I hope you can be able to see my screen. Today, I had intended basically question approach, question and answer, question and answer. This session helps a lot because most of us have issues with answering questions. Um, I had also tried to, to, to create for you a few character traits. We have both negative and positive words that we can use. I think we have those character traits, but it's okay. I'll Mike? Yes. I'm listening. Your hand is up. 
Yes, as in the play of Return of Mungov. Mm. If we were to ask you that, why does Francis Simbuga use Tori and Tori were in the play's development? Why Is does... it about to do... Why does Francis Simbuga use Tori and Tori were in the play's development? In the stories? In the play's development. Uh huh. What 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 was what do you think? Yeah, I was thinking that. Is it? Do you state the character traits or? No, that question is looking at plot development. Okay. And other things. Why does he use them in the play? Is that a question? Why does he use them in the novel? Right. Yeah. That is character role. Mm. Character role deal with, deals with plot, plot development, thematic development, character enhancement mm. or character exposure, uh, portraying of feelings, lessons. Those are the things you look at. Yeah. Mm. Does that help? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm sorry I had network yeah, issues. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. But my issue was, what is the difference between character traits and character roles? Now, the character role, that was Ivy's question I picked on her, but she, she, her network had issue. When you talk about character role, that is the part they play, the part characters play in the, in the novel in terms of plot development, thematic development, uh, character exposition or character development, developing other characters. Are we together? Uh, development of themes, development of lessons, development of feelings, and yet character traits. Those are the, that's what I was trying to portray here. The way a character, character trait is the way a character behaves, is the way character is portrayed a way a character responds to, to situations. All those are small things we can look at. I hope I can be able to, to share my screen. The network is disturbing a little. Yes, here. Uh, just a minute. Let's take this one. The PDF is much better. Goodness. Okay. Senior three, I hope you can be able to see. So today, these are the, uh, these are the books you do. I was able to, to, to bring them out in case someone had an issue here and there. Those are the books I will share with you. Now, question approach. Common question, common question asked on characters. They can ask you to describe the character of someone, blah, blah, blah. But today, my interest is in character traits. These are the adjectives you can use to describe a character's personality and the way they the way they behave those words are here they're all here I've put for you there are so many there are negatives there are positives and other things that can help you to describe a character so these are the, these are what we call character traits now the ones i'm displaying here are character traits someone can be forceful forgetful friendly uh, frugal, funny, all these are character traits. And yet character roles are the other ones I explained. That how the author uses a character to develop his themes, to develop his plot, those are what we call character roles. It's to the author other than to you, the reader. So he uses characters uh, to develop his plot, to develop his themes, to develop his uh, his other characters. When we say a character develops another character, it means you and me, when we interact, you're able to know either I am tough because you've asked me a question and I reply you, I reply you rudely. I can, you can be able to say the teacher is rude. But if I reply you in a good way, you can say the teacher is polite. If I'm not patient with you, if you're making noise and I say, get out of my class, you say the teacher is, is tough or well, the teacher is impatient, you know? Those are what we call character traits. I hope that makes sense. So I will be able to share with you that as well. Okay. 
Roxy is enjoying the admin role. She's she's our host currently, so if we annoy her, she may remove us. Jojo. Jojo. Roxy, Abby, I hope you're hearing us. Roxy. Roxy, you're hearing us? Okay. Uh, uh, someone is asking Abby to make him a host. Abby, please remain the host. I don't want anyone else to, to, to disturb us. Jojo, you're, you're not talking. Can we, can we assume you're not okay? You can leave your question on the chat. Let me take the last person being Murunji Davis. Murunji Davis. Yes, sir. Your question. Excuse me, teacher. You're excused. In writing themes, are you allowed to skip lines or you write in paragraphs? Indented paragraphs. We never skip any line anywhere unless you're dealing with the extract. But all is supposed to be in, in indented paragraphs. Okay, sir. Do you know what an indented paragraph is? No, sir. Nani, I need you are saying okay. An indented paragraph is when you leave space from the margin, then you start writing. That is for the first sentence, but the other sentences will come back up to the margin until that paragraph is done. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay, that's what we call an, inten an indented paragraph. We don't skip lines. We don't do anything like that. Okay, I think Roxy has been a good admin. That is a good one. Thank you. Uh, Aisha, last question from Aisha. Aisha? Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you. I'd like to ask the question that why do most novels, some novels and plays usually have flashback in in them? A flashback, in, a flashback, a flashback, a flashback is a is a technique. Is a, is a technique. It is a style of writing. At your level, we don't disturb you a lot with it. It is, it is now applied in, in level in the under poor uh, passage when we are dealing with the uh, novels, when we are paper three. Uh, novels. But for you, paper flashback is just a normal thing. You, it is talking about what happened in the past because of the recent situation. Are we together? So yes. for us, let's not bother with it. It's, it's just a normal thing. It is a style of writing. We shall handle it more when we are in A level. JB and Roxy, you seem to be in another pairing world. JB. JB, leave my daughter alone. Can you use it? I beg your pardon? I mean, sir, if they ask a question, Hmm. Which question now? And your, your network. Indeed. There is there is no question in L level that asks you to talk about when we talk about style in under what makes a poem interesting. We talk about elementary style, for example, the use of metaphors, the choice of words, that is style. So in all level, we don't usually ask you, examine the, 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 the what? Examine the, the flashbacks. No, 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 that is too much for you. So don't worry about it. It's just the style of writing. If, if anyone ever sets for you such a question, 
then he, he, that person is not fair. That question is not for all level. We don't ask questions around flashback in all level. You do what we call elementary literature, introduction to literature. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, Jojo, this is Jojo Ferro. Your hand is up. You are not saying anything. Yes, the unseen poem, the unseen poem, people ask about, people ask about, they can ask you that among the poems you have discussed under the theme of love, uh, answer the following questions. That's what we call the unseen poem. So they ask about the poem, the poet, the persona, the, you know, all those things. So you must be able to master them. Roxy, can you make me the host very fast? Make me the host. Okay, thank you so much, Roxy. JB, JB, you have disturbed my, my daughter this entire lesson. I'm going to cane you. All right, uh, I think this is, this is all, unless other words. I would uh, I would want to assume. Okay, class, I've unmuted all of you. I want us yeah. to, to know that if I've unmuted you, does not mean you speak. It it is just for quick response within the next two minutes. These Africans are very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let us prepare we might be having a few tests to come so let us prepare today i was preparing you for such we can always continue this chat in our whatsapp group so it's it's past time we are five minutes past the normal time have a blessed day carlos very fast your hand is up Okay, it seems Carlos' hand just went up. All right, the rest of you have a, have a good day. See you on Wednesday or Thursday, rather, when we have another lesson. Is it Friday? Questions? Yeah, okay, sir. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye, bye sir. Thank you. Bye. Welcome. You can always get bye, your questions. Bye, teacher. Uh, you can always get your questions. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you for the lesson. Right, sure, thanks for the reason. Yeah, uh, thanks. thanks. You, you all like watching Fifty Shades of Grey.